beautiful. Just, just beautiful and breathtaking, this, this vision before me. In 1948, the Zionist militias, which later became the Israeli forces, forcibly displaced over 750,000 Palestinians, destroyed over 530 Palestinian cities, towns, and villages, committed dozens of massacres, and took control. They stole 78% of mandatory Palestine. The ethnic cleansing of Palestine during the Nakba paved the way for the creation of a colonial apartheid regime that is called Israel. Since 1948, Israel has crafted its system of domination over the Palestinian people using forced displacement and transfer, colonization and apartheid, war crimes and crimes against humanity to control the maximum amount of land in Palestine with the minimum number of Palestinians. For over 76 years, Israel, with the support of its colonial allies, have systematically and aggressively denied the Palestinian people their rights to self-determination and return. That is why today, 66% of the Palestinian people, 9.17 million Palestinians, are refugees and internally displaced persons. Western colonial states, the US, the UK, the EU, France, Germany and Australia have not only enabled Israel to commit these crimes, but over 76 years of impunity bestowed upon Israel have led us to the genocide that is happening in Gaza today. For over seven months, Israel has been targeting Gaza with the intention to physically destroy the Palestinian population there and create conditions of life that will lead to a slow death. In other words, committing genocide. At the same time, Israel, is tar Israel has severely restricted the provision of humanitarian aid, has demonized, attacked, and obstructed the life-saving and crucial work of UNRWA, and Palestinians in the rest of Palestine are experiencing an escalation of Israeli suppression manifested in killings, mass arbitrary arrests and political prisoners are tortured, humiliated, killed, forced dis forcibly disappeared, and the destruction and depopulation of whole villages, land confiscation, and Israeli-backed colonizer attacks. States, all states, including the government of Ireland, have an absolute obligation to implement sanctions against Israel to prevent 
and stop the genocide to enforce a ceasefire because Israel, a colonial apartheid regime, will not stop its genocide, its displacement and transfer, its suppression, colonization, and apartheid without being able to stop through sanctions. The Irish people, you beautiful people, have been in solidarity with Palestine since before the genocide, since the Nakba and before the Nakba. You have been steadfast in your support for Palestine, standing for human rights, dignity, and justice. But states, states including the Irish government, after seven months of genocide and seven months of solidarity protests, have ignored the will of the people and have not implemented sanctions against Israel. We cannot continue to allow governments to enable and support Israel's perpetuation of the Nakba and the genocide. We cannot allow we cannot allow states to ignore their obligations. We cannot allow states to distract us with empty statements and empty recognition and symbolic actions and worthless commitments that provide Israel the time and the space to further its genocide and the ongoing Nakba of the Palestinian people. There is no business as usual during the ongoing Nakba and the genocide. There is no maintaining and enabling forced displacement and transfer, colonization and apartheid as the status quo. The time for dialogue with Israel and its colonial allies is over. The time for excuses and symbolic gestures is over. The time to let Israel's colonial allies, the US, the UK, EU, France, and Germany, to dictate the actions of allies of Palestine, to dictate the actions of Ireland, is over. <laughs> to end complicity with Israeli genocide, to end the ongoing genocide and the ongoing Nakba. Not only must states impose arms embargoes, fund and enable UNRWA, lift the blockade of Gaza, but they must also implement military, economic, and diplomatic sanctions. Palestinian people have faced over 76 years of ongoing Nakba. We have faced over seven months of genocide and it must stop. Sanctions have been necessary for 76 years and sanctions are necessary now. What do we want? Sanctions. When do we want them? Now. What do we want? When do we want them? What do we want? What do we want them? What do we want? When do we want them? Sanctions now. Sanctions now. Sanctions now. Sanctions now. Yeah, there.
together, all people of conscience, all people with humanity, all people who believe in dignity and justice, in liberation, in the right of return of the Palestinian people and their right to self-determination, all of us will resist until liberation and return from the river to the sea.